I know the players are excited, uh, the coaches are excited, and um, I'm hoping that a big crowd will come out and, and join us out there and cheer us on the win. Uh, I'm expecting a lot of people from Greenville and Indianola and uh, Greenwood and you know just in our surrounding communities because I'm hoping that we can show them a, a new look and an example of what's what's to come. Open up the question. A little about your opponent, Coach. Uh, I understand this is your first year of football and kind of talk about preparedness, the unknown. Tools. Well, yeah, they're an unknown entity. You know, you don't have any film on them. And uh, I know that they played, I think, Edward Waters uh, last week. Uh, I hear that they're a big team. I hear that they're the coaches. I'm, I know that the coach coached some like pro football um, a year ago or so. and. I think he may, because they're uh, kind of a, not in the NCAA yet, I, I hear that he's probably brought a lot of those guys that played, that weren't being paid, and they're going to be some older guys, some real physical guys that we're going to be playing. Um, and I think we got to be ready for that occasion because you never know what you're going to face. And the guys that play football and semi-pro, and you know, you don't know uh, as far as age is concerned from, from 18 to 30. And so, but we got to be prepared to stand up like men and face whatever comes on and, and handle the onslaught and fight back. How do exactly do you prepare for the unknown? Um, we try to cover everything as far as formations are concerned and make our checks. And we got some base checks that can go to different formations. And, and so I think uh, as far as an offense, you know, we're going to dictate what their defense do. But as far as their offense, they may dictate on how we mm -hmm. line up. And, but we're ready for uh, some of the minor adjustments, but we feel that we have a good base in to where we can adjust to anything they bring. Coach, go ahead. When was the last time uh, you guys opened at home? Did you open at home last year? I'm not sure. I wasn't here a year okay. ago, and I really didn't. I put last year behind because we're moving forward. Right. And so, and so I'm glad we're opening up at home. It's, it's great to do that. Talk about that a little bit and just how big of an advantage that is for you guys. To well, uh, it's nice to be able to sleep in your, in your own beds naturally before a game. You know, that's always great to be here and, uh, and wake up and go, to, go down and walk, and walk, to your, uh, walk to the stadium and dress and do those type of things without having to move around much. And so, yes, it's an advantage and you have the hometown crowd that's for you. I don't know how many people they're going to bring, but... You know, I'm hoping that our people come and we can sit on both sides if that happens. But um, you never know um, how many people they're going to bring. So, um, but I do enjoy playing at home. It's something big for us, and it's something I hopefully that we can pack that stadium is what I'm after. Coach, are you saying they played a game already then? Yeah, they played a team called Everett Waters down in Florida. You know and, what, what happened in that game? Uh, you know, only thing we knew is what, from phone calls, I think Everett Waters beat them pretty good. Uh -huh. And um, but they the, what they said over the phone was that they're huge and not to be intimidated when you saw the size of them. And so, um, you know, I'm not looking to be intimidated. I don't think our players would be intimidated, but I hear that they have great size and they got two running backs that run extremely hard from what I understand and their defense swarms to the football. So we got to be prepared to, you know, play a solid football game to play the what we see in practice has got to go beyond that. You know, we got to play in that fourth quarter and, and not let the game get out of let not let them get out of here uh, with that win. You know, we can't let them leave with that one. We just can't do that. How would you assess where you guys are coming into the first game, um, you know, from where you started in the spring? Well, in the spring, as I said, we didn't have a lot of depth. Right now we've got more depth on the, on the offensive line, and we've got some guys that came back and playing on the defense. And um, right now, so spring was hard to assess, but right now I think we're ready for a football game as long as we don't make a lot of mistakes and you know go backwards instead of forwards as a team. And I think if we can just play a good, solid football game, a rough, tough football game, that we'll be okay. I think we're further along than I expected to be, but it remains to be seen. These guys are young men, and they're going to make mistakes. These freshmen are going to make freshman mistakes. We got to expect that, but. I hope that we can overcome these mistakes so that we can mature them as we go down the line. What about where are you with your quarterback? I mean, you, are you got a solid starter? Really? I think we got a solid starter now, and I, we're, we're going to go with uh, Quantavis Peterson as our number one guy at this point. We're going to put him in there and see what he can do. We got some great guys backing him up. We got uh, we got Ivy, we got Dontrell, 
Dontrell, uh, the other quarterback that can do a good job for us. So between Ivy and Dontrell, we'll find out, um, you know, what, what it's made of. But right now we're going to go with Peterson as our number one quarterback. And what can you explain, like, what he did to, I guess, unseat Ivy? He can throw, well, no, they both can throw the deep ball, but he's been getting more reps. He's been getting a lot of first team reps with, with the players. It's not taking anything away from Ivy. Ivy's a good football player, and you'll see him. But right now, this guy is kind of giving us the, the jump that we think we need at this particular time, and, and that's the direction we plan on taking. What about you personally? Uh, it's this, you know, first year head coach. How are things for you? You said is you know, are you are you ready for game? Are game yeah, game? I am. I'm extremely happy. I'm happy because of the administration that we have and Dr. Bonham, and especially um, our director of athletics, um, you know, doc, you know, Dr. Miss Ford Key. And they've been extremely helpful in making sure that the things, you know, you don't have everything, but they've been trying the best to make sure that we got what we need. And our alumni, you know, they've all came out of the woodwork to try to make sure this program gets a good jump start. And I truly appreciate that. And, you know, with that, you want to work. You know, it makes you want to go out there and get it and, you know, put your heart and soul into it because you have the support. And without support, it's, it's very difficult to do anything. You mentioned about bearing the past. Why is that so important as you try? Well, to me, um, I wasn't here in the past. I just know when coming down playing, uh, you know, Mississippi Valley State University, they played me extremely tough. And so, you know, those are in my mind. Those type of things are in my mind. But, um, you know, why worry about it? Why talk about it? It's a brand new day. You know, brand new president, brand new AD, brand new coach, you know, alumni up, you know, perked up, ready to roll. I mean, let the, you know, you, you, you can't go forward looking through the rear view mirror. And so, you know, we're trying to do what we got to do in order to move this program forward. And I know nothing about the past. You know, all the, I don't know where records, I didn't even look back. I didn't even look back at old film. I just came in to try to do a job and let the dice roll. Uh, how important is it for you to get off to a good start? It's very important. I think we got to have some success early. I'm not saying that we're the best team in the conference, but you got to have success early. You know, uh, winning breeds winning. And so if we can get a win here and we go up and play a tough game next week, and we know it's going to be tough up at Illinois State. We know that. We're not, I'm not crazy, but the fact is if we can get a win here, it's going to build a positive note and we'll make a, you know, go make a positive showing up there. If we're positive tomorrow, on Friday, we'll be positive up there as well regardless of how the game come out, you know, and uh, give us uh, something to teach and give us things that we need to, we need to know about our football team. Uh, Coach, any, um, maybe a name of one or two newcomers who you think we might see something from, uh, you know, on Saturday? Well, we got, uh, you know, we're a young football team, in essence, from an offensive standpoint of view, especially that offensive line. But the, the, but the fact is, I think we got some wide receivers that are going to impress you. And I think the movement from uh, with Deshaun, Deshaun Davis from defense over to running back is going to make a big difference. He runs like a train. And a, he's a mule. And we got another guy by the name of uh, Gabe Jackson is a fullback right now. And he'll get up in there tough and do a great job. And we got speed back there with Charlie Crenshaw. So we can do a lot of different things. I think our receivers are doing a fantastic job of going through the football. They got, you know, uh, with a guy by the name of Keenan Daniels, who we recruited out of the junior college, he does a fine job for us. And we got some guys that may not play tomorrow only because of the fact that they may be a little bit dinged or injured, but we got enough to go out there and play some good football. And, uh, you know, we still got Avery on defense, he's doing a lot for us. And, you know, I'm just proud of what I see. I think our linebacker core has really improved. They're stepping up, you know, making some good shots for us. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just pleased overall. I think a few gate. A young man that was here last year will have a good year for us. And we got uh, uh, DeAndre Jackson back in the lineup. And, you know, with, with Jeremiah, those guys are veteran type guys who, you know, love to play. And uh, it should be, we got some freshmen behind them. And Nelson Hale, who's a good football player, and a guy by the name of Armstrong. And so, you know, I'm really, you know, pleased with, you know, our depth right now. And all we got to do is find out what they can do in war. Any other questions? Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Cliff. Thank you, man. I